Do you know that our nation confines more people per capita than any other nation on earth? And people are serving sentences that are really long, and once they go inside, they have very few opportunities to earn their way to freedom. One of the things that we strive to do at Prison Professors is show people how the decisions they make while they are inside influence their prospects for an earlier release. And we do that by creating educational resources like books and courses and videos. And today I want to talk with you about some of the investments that we are making to make more compelling videos. And I really learned this when I participated on an interview with a, a YouTube channel called Fresh Out. Fresh Out is run by a, a guy named Big Herc and his colleague Anthony. And they've really created a, 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 an amazing platform that uh, has, has grown to now have more than 500,000 subscribers. Their subscribers, however, aren't necessarily going into the prison system. They're just people who are interested in this concept of mass incarceration and what it does to people. Herc did about 10 years himself, but he has transformed his life and has become successful. And one of the ways that he's become successful is building this YouTube channel. Through his channel, I've met some other interesting characters, including a fellow by the go who goes by the name uh, um, uh, OG Silverback. And he's got his own channel as well. And one of the things that all of those people have in common is they've got great equipment. I have been learning how to create content uh, for the past several years. I mean, when I got out of prison in 2013, everything was really new to me because I didn't have access to technology and the technology really didn't exist when I went to prison back in 1987. So everything was new. So I started creating videos just in front of my iMac. And then a couple of years ago, we started this program of, of bringing courses into jails and prisons. So I had to learn how to produce videos on an external camera. And that's what I'm using right now. This is a, I'm filming this on a Canon uh, camcorder, which is, you know, if I, I will show it to you in a later video, but right now I'm using it, so I can't show it to you. But I filmed on a camera, uh, on a Canon camcorder, and while I was filming it, I noticed that I had really bad audio. So then later I bought a, a, a clip that I could clip on here. It's called the lavalier mic that got me better audio, but nothing gets as good as audio as this uh, 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 microphone right here. And this is hooked up to a different system on my computer that I use specifically for podcasting and for Zoom type calls and so on. But today I'm excited to share with you some of the new products that I purchased or that we purchased so that we could pro provide uh, video content to people in jails and prisons at a much higher quality. And I learned that from, I'm grateful to Anthony for, for introducing me to the types of, uh, uh, of equipment that I would need. And I just got it today. So I'm gonna show it up to you right now. This is the Canon EOS 90D. Um, it's a professional grade camera that, that, that should shoot much higher quality video than I'm, I've been using. And we're gonna be able to test that. So this will probably be one of the last videos I film on the camcorder. I'm gonna start using this one today. In addition, and I got two of these cameras, and the reason for that is because I want to be able to shoot from different angles. So one coming at me and one coming off to the side, and that way I can flip back and forth. And, and, and see, I learned how to do that from other videographers who taught me that when people are watching videos, they don't, uh, they're, they're, our eyes are used to watching um, television when we're watching video. And of course that's shot from many different angles. And if, and if I film only from one angle, the, the picture tends to be a little bit flat and, and it's easy for somebody to lose interest. I don't want people in jail and prison to lose interest. I want to engage you. I want to help you understand why the classes that you are taking today have such an enormous influence on where on what you can become. And I want to show you the tools that I'm using. So I'm really excited to be using this tool right here. I also bought these lights because Anthony told me another one of the key fun functions of good video is having really good lighting. In fact, it's good lighting, it's good audio, and it's good editing. Now, it takes a tremendous amount of time to edit videos because first of all, I have to set up the equipment, I have to set up the lighting, I have to set up the audio recording program, then I have to record, then after I record, I have to take these little, um, 
little film clips. They're, they're, they're little discs, I guess you'd call them, or files. Um, I forget, there's actually a name for them, but I forgot the name. But it's, it's just like a, a miniature uh, disc, I guess you'd call it. I wish I could show you one right now, but I don't see one on my desk. But I take these clips and I um, plug them into then my computer, and I have a very big computer. I'll take a picture of it and show you how editing looks. So I'll edit, like I'll, I'll take different pictures of the, of the house. You'll, you'll see me doing that uh, at this point, and I'll wave that over where I am right now. Anyway, I plug this disc inside of a disc reader, and then from that disc reader, I take the next step and um, plug it into an editing software program. And from that editing software program, I have to watch the entire video and makes cuts to go from one camera to the other camera. And, and all of that, of course, takes time. So a video of like 15 minutes can really take about three hours to produce. And that's if I'm just speaking extemporaneously as I am doing right now. If I create a more elaborate video with charts and a PowerPoint and a type of teaching tutorial, that can take even longer. But I'm committed to investing this time and this energy for a couple of reasons. One, I really wanna develop my craft as a videographer. Um, two, I am very passionate about teaching and inspiring people in jail and prison or people who are going into the system. I want to let them see that they can have a life of meaning and relevance and dignity if they follow the right path. I want to help more people understand that life Life really doesn't end just because somebody has a, a, a setback. Life can go on, life can become more meaningful, but you've got to work. And sometimes when a person is in jail or prison, it's hard to get that hope. In fact, last night, I was really surprised to get a phone call from somebody inside of the San Quentin prison, and he told me that he was on death row, but he was watching these videos on death row, and it was an inspiring him to want to give messages to people who could be going down the bad path that he went down, and he recognizes it's a bad path. Obviously, if somebody is on death row, that person uh, or, or a jury convicted that person of a pretty heinous crime, and he, he uh, doesn't dispute that he did that, but he did say he wants to try and make amends in some kind of way with whatever life he has remaining, which to me, I find to be really, in, uh, 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 I guess I would say that's a good sign. Anytime, I believe it's never too early, it's never too late to begin sowing seeds for a better life. Uh, I, I don't know anything obviously about his case, nor do I know about the case of anybody who's watching our programs. But I do know that the prison professor's video programs go into supermax prisons, high security prisons, and minimum security camps, as well as jails. So people who are receiving this message really need to believe that they can become something more. And only because I served 26 years in prison, I have a little bit of credibility with them because they believe, well, if he can do something more with his life, Maybe I can as well. But it's not only me, of course. I interview people. And these cameras that I, that I just purchased, again, the Canon 90D, is going to be, allow me to make much more vibrant, higher quality videos. At least I hope so. Uh, you will be the judge. So this will be the last one that I do here. I do want you to know that I'm filming this video on, uh, today is September the 15th, 2020. Um, I'm traveling tomorrow. I've got to fly to Louisiana, so I probably won't be filming a video tomorrow, um, but maybe I'll be able to film one today and have it published tomorrow. I'll be in Louisiana Thursday, and Friday I fly from Baton Rouge to Washington, D.C. I'll be in Washington, D.C. for a day, and then on Saturday I fly to New York City, uh, and I'll be in New York City for about three days, I think. And I'll make sure I take some videos in all of those places. I just don't know if I'll be able to get them uploaded. So if you're watching this video now and there's not a video for a couple of days or at least a high quality video for a couple of days, you know I'm still filming. I just won't have time to edit. I may do some filming on my, uh, what do you call it, my iPad and just publish those. Um, but in any event, I definitely want to thank you for being a part of the Prison Professors Program. I do hope if you've not subscribed, you will subscribe now. This is one way that we can be the change that we want to see in the world. Thank you.